Okay, being on black folks, and we got live motion again right now. So you'll be seeing uh, what people were saying, and it'll just play here and probably take up the whole 15 minutes. And uh, the reason I always just do a 15 minute video, I, I can do longer ones, but and as you can see up there by the smoke, folks, it's not just smoke. Okay, and as you can see, you just keep your eyes open, and you will see stars that are basically reflecting down hologram onto the earth of that volcano there in Japan. And you can see those bright little white spots that you see, those are stars way off in space and they spin fast or they have fast rotators around their planetary star, their stars. And these are the brighter ones and there was black ones in that other videos that I did showed you. And basically, we're just getting good footage here. We're not just getting frozen. Now, this will probably end up freezing, more than likely. But you're going to see star propagation that basically, right there, that little, like if you'd think an Oort cloud, okay, folks? This camera is pretty darn clear, okay? And what it's doing is this is the light propagation that is down. And you can see a real good orbiter to the left of the cloud in the gray area there. Moving around, back and right. If it's on the left hand side, it was out in the grayish area in the sky, and there it is again. It just plopped up now. Because what I'll do is I just keep my pointer out of the way, and you can basically see stuff. I can just kind of call it out. So, all this light action that you see there, it's not a crappy camera and it's not a crappy feed. It's all light propagation down there on that volcano right now. And what I will do is probably halfway through this. It's not really worth going to because basically everybody can take the time down their self and waste my time because I, I don't get me wrong, I love Worldwide Telescope and then basically any other software that you're going to use. I think there's Whiskey, there's all kinds of ones. There's, you know, software to go look at the stars because it, stuff gets data, gets uploaded every day. And it's just all this is is more than likely that galaxy and also the sun and the supergiants and just tons of stuff out in space that is basically propagating right now as we take the turn that we follow to follow the sun and if you notice if anybody paid attention to the world night wide uh, the magnetosphere server and basically it's not really worldwide when it's just the the known magnetosphere observatory thing and it's Japan's astronomers got just about every astronomy or and basically the physicists the science projects from NASA worldwide and everything there are hooked up with that now as you can see all over this volcano and mountainous area right now it's not anything being focused with the camera nothing it's shooting you and you're seeing actual light propagation from all this stuff asteroid belts that are close by or clouds that are close by because that or cloud that's over top of over the uh, telescope is not far from I mean it's a way yeah it's quite a ways from Hawaii to Japan but that stuff is way the hell up in space high above earth and it's glimmering down on earth all the time and this is getting to be a hot period of time again right now here over in Japan and basically if you paid attention there was some five point something and whatever quakes here a while ago stuff like that and I've showed you also if you go to my uh, pressure video and the one just before the pressure video uh, it will show you how much the land has actually puffed up there's so much pressure there around this volcano that basically in two days shots of looking at Google and they're keeping a real fresh on it now even in, when I was at Dutch Sense in the talk area someone called out the idea that there was a they watch for harp, and harp exists. It's all factual. Everything that pretty much Dutch and them have dug up, it was all factual data. They're showing you right, straight up scientific research and projects, and basically that is basically equipped and operating on weather propagation and so forth and so on. And harp has a lot of different angles to it. And they seen a radar uh, anomaly, and it's not really an anomaly. It's a radar signature. And like I said, I said, well, they know it's a good 20, you know, 15, 20, 25 minute in advance because they monitor the peaks of the Sierras, the coastal buttes, the coastal mountain range and stuff like that. 
of the United States and other places in the country. And then they will get signals and alarms will go off or basically they'll see the data and they will and here we go folks right here and i'm not blowing no smoke on you we've been seeing all this rotation right now of all these planet stuff and you see a, ro a red little plume up there okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to basically sit here for a minute and see how much more plume we get coming out of here but i i want to save some time so that we keep on seeing what we got going on and you see all these planets rotating okay and it's just I loaded it up and it was playing and it's playing right now and a lot of times it'll lock up so what, what I want to do is it's building redness right now and it won't change wow it's getting fast so you've seen it here on the clock and stuff like that so take a look at the clock we got 212 0228 okay and we got 06 0252 Hawaii I mean uh, Japan time folks okay and as we looked up that up yesterday, that it's nine hours difference from GMT Zulu time, okay? And now it just went over to 6.03 and 02 seconds, okay? So six minutes, three, and I'm going to uh, stop the tape. And what we'll do is we'll come back in a little bit and take a look because I'm just probably just going to fill this all up with footage of all this rotation stuff. And check that rotation. It's right there in the black, the blackish spot, folks. It's bouncing around like crazy, and I can point to it for a second right here. Keep your eye right there, and I'll let it play for a minute. And we got action right there, and action right here. So it's very important for you to take down these dates and time. The 28, 228, 603, Japan time. And remember, you got to allow for that is nine hours ahead of Zulu time. Okay, so you got a minus nine hours from GMT, UTC, or Zulu time, okay? Because that's what usually all the telescope, worldwide telescope, whiskey and all that stuff go by. And then you'll be able to figure out the stars. And pretty much we showed the galaxy that's up there by the sun. Uh, and here we get some more red action right now. So uh, we'll see if we get much more red action here in the next 30 seconds or so, and then I'll freeze it. And you can do the Worldwide Telescope and see what's going on at this point in time. Uh, as you see all these stars around, and no matter what, you've got this star there, this star here, this stars are here, it looks like two there, this here, and this here. And whatever else your eyes will pick out, and there's been some up in here. And as you see, this area behind here is getting real bright, too. And if you went to the other cameras right now, at the time that this video feed and so forth and so we'll upload this I will upload this and let's freeze this but it's getting reddish again right now just wondering if we're gonna just get a big old burst so let me freeze the tape and let's see what else happens and we'll come back in but also look at the wild rotation we got right there at the reddishness too and then people will say well it's heat coming off well yeah there is heat coming off but there's also stars, as you can see right here, rotating around way deep in space, hologramming right down to this volcano. Also right here, and here, and where I've already pointed all those already. And this, everything that you see that's basically flopping in your eyeballs when you're looking at this shot, because that's all light propagation down on that volcano. And she's just getting red hot right as we sit here and tape. And I'm taping this pretty much live. You can see my central standard time, 3.06 p.m. Down to the right, there's like a 15 second delay. Uh, we're at 15 seconds ahead or something like that here. Because I got 3.06 and they got it because you know it's six minutes after the hour. So we got, we're a little bit, so this is pretty damn live. There's not much of a delay in it at all. It would be within a minute of a delay of anything like that. Pretty much matched up pretty good. Real good feed right now. So, uh, it's heating up, and let me save some tape time, and maybe we'll get even a, and just every time I say that, then I'm going to save some tape, it's like, whoosh, and basically you got a star rotating right in there in the blackness, right in between, yeah, because there's red on the left, and there's red on the right, and then it rises up, okay, so, and no matter what, you've got stars, you got stars here, 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 there. There's a bunch in there. And also here. And you'll keep an eye here, and that's what this brightness is. You're near, right there as I had my cursor, and you can see a white spot right there in that cloud area. 
it's actually burning through the soot from that volcano, folks. That white spot right there where I just had my pointer on the left-hand side right here. Check that light propagation. Sun in the supergiants and the stars out there in space. Totally wild. And here I just popped in, folks, because it's getting, she's getting hotter. She's got some lava just like standing on tippy toes here. And like you can see the all the landscape of the of the mountain and that's all black soot and dust everywhere folks. It ain't there ain't hardly much trees of this that left here there or whatever. And you can see star action flopping everywhere. You basically got the one right up there in the plume. I'm gonna go above and right directly below, just directly drop down, and there was action right there. Because you can back it up a little bit, and there's action right there. And you'll see this action right here. It'll pop back up. You see that little ball right there? That is a star heating. And if she is just getting ready to blow her top again, it'll be interesting how much. And let me save some more tape time, and just just incredible, as you can see that big old. And it's hard to tell too when we get this action like this. Is that actual star glow, a gigantic star? Once it gets engulfed like that, that basically gets immersed in there, and you don't really get to see it too much, because you can still see that star action right there, and right here there's star action. Planetary stars, folks. Totally wild. And this thing just keeps every day, folks. Almost 24-7, even sometimes at nighttime. All this star propagation. And it's pretty much more than likely that galaxy, that 1449. And there you go. There's some action right there above the red. And you can see it, the light propagating left, right, all over the place. Fast rotations out there, folks. Like I say, the French deals, they found a, a star that, ro that rotates 300 times faster than the sun, and then NASA sat there and said, well, it only rotates 100 times faster than the sun. Well, 100 times faster is a hell of a lot faster. And then anything that rotates 300 times faster. Now, I'm not saying that this is that star or anything like that, and there you go. That is wild, folks. Okay. So let's go, and I'm going to freeze this. I don't know what we're going to end up seeing here, but if it's just end up being gray smoke here. But we know she's red hot. Okay. You can see what's going on. So, and then all the light propagation all over the place. Not fake baking you nothing, folks. You've seen the light change like crazy, and there's some real good flopping right above the letters right here. I'm going to stay down below, but look right above the letters here. Japanese writing up there. There's some wild flopping action all over right there. So, and there you go with some action up in the volcano again right there. And the gray plume. So let me freeze, save some more time, and we'll check back in. Okay, the reason I come back in here is because you look at right to the right of the redness. It looks like a Oort cloud is almost like right on top of the damn volcano. But basically what it is, and then it turns into black smoke. Okay, and it's rotating, tumbling around. And whatever, okay, whatever that, you can go ahead and say, okay, well, that's just the smoke. Okay, well, then what's all these other floppers around that are rotating around? Like what I've showed you before, right up here to the right, the massive amount of little planets in a horseshoe or whatever. And they're so busy rotating around right now. And everything right here in the picture. Okay, you see my pointer? You go in there to the picture, and they're there. They're flopping around, and they're flopping around right above all this language up here, a good inch or so up. Mainly a big one, white one right here. You'll see that flopping around. It gets big, small, flops around, rotates around, and she getting hotter. So I'll save some more, and then basically right up in the cloud, right up here, there was some action right there. It is right there. Just pop back in. You can see that.